Hey guys, welcome back to another Steam Deck video. Today we're looking at the finals running on the deck. And this game is coming in at about 17, 18 gigabytes. So, not too bad. Okay, and we're in. Now, if you haven't played this game before, it's essentially a 3v3v3 tournament game where the objective is to essentially grab the money, deposit the money. Whoever has the most money wins. And it's kind of set up as more of a game show. So the focus isn't too much on killing, but... You know, shooting other people and killing them does give you more coins or an advantage to score better. And I am trying a new light today, uh, but it makes me play at kind of a tilted angle here or over here. If not, you're going to see in the reflection. So let me know down in the comments if this viewing angle is better, if the lighting is better, because I've been struggling with getting some good light in my games. So we're in the practice range right now for two reasons. One, I've actually never played this game without a mouse and keyboard. I've never played on controller. So just getting used to the controls and how it feels and sensitivity. And two, see how the performance is. So practice mode is gonna differ from an actual match because we don't have that many people running around in it. But right now we're getting a steady 60 up top. Let's go ahead and look at the graphical settings and see what's up with that. So we're running 1280 by 800, field of view is 71. Let's go ahead and look at the quality settings. Everything right now is on low. Now this isn't a graphically intensive game. I, I don't know, it, it kind of is, it kind of isn't. The game definitely looks good. But again, running it on low, at this resolution on this screen, like I couldn't tell these are low graphics. Now if I really zoom in, yeah, the edges of the gun might look blurry, but other than that, it's a, it's a smooth experience. I'm gonna go ahead and map some back paddles here just to make things a little easier for me. Okay, we're back, sliding around, jumping, and I won't get the field of sensitivity until we actually play it. But let's go ahead and hop into a game. All right, we are in the game. I just did a quick play, uh, cash grab. Now I will, okay, so if you look at the FPS in the top left, it is dropping to about 40, depending on what I'm doing. If I'm moving around a lot. I'm playing at a very weird angle right now because the tripod is right in front of my face. But who am I to make excuses, right? Ooh. So even though the FPS drops, it's really not enough to impact your gaming. I feel like if you get anything above 30, as long as it's not too crazy in terms of dropping back and forth, it's not bad. It's not a bad experience at all. The only complaint I do have, and it's not really a complaint, it's just like I'm not comfortable with a controller anymore when it comes to a competitive game like this. But again, I think the more you practice and the more you get used to it, the more comfortable it becomes. The jet setters are re -engaging. And because this is a team intensive game, you really do want to play this game with people you know, or at least have game chat going on, because uh, communication is key in this game. Knowing where everybody is, knowing what everyone's doing, coordinating, it's really all important. Oh, you can't be invisible and run with it? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, that's on me. Potato moment. I wonder how much damage the melee items do. That's one thing too, you can go ahead and buy a battle pass for this game. It's free to play, so of course you have that aspect to it. But you actually get a good amount of in-game currency that you can get clothes with, and you can buy different loadouts, uh, sorry, 
different weapons and items for your loadout. So it does provide a lot of opportunities to unlock and change your playstyle. See this right here. With a weird angle combined with uh, trying to be accurate. somewhere here And again, I kind of explain this more so for people who don't have this game or haven't played it yet. You get three classes, light, medium, heavy. Each have their uh, own equipment they can use. And items. And once you start the game, you actually can't go back and change it mid-game. You can select other loadout items that you might want, but in terms of actually... Uh, Revive this guy. You'll see here, change loadout. If I click on this, I can set these additional items that I could swap in, but you have to select those items. You can't just select everything that you have unlocked for that class. It's a rough world out there. Alright guys, so that was the finals running on the Steam Deck. Now when this game first came out, it wasn't working on the deck because of an anti-cheat issue, but you know, they updated it and it's running perfectly now. You guys just saw it runs pretty steady FPS. It does drop, but everything's 100% playable and it's really nice that you can grab and play this with friends and I don't know, you can even do three people, you meet up together in the same room and do it get better comps, whatever the reason is. But again, Steam Deck, amazing handheld console to play all these games on, and I'm really glad that the developers are updating their games so it works on this platform, because some people only have this platform and it's their introduction to PC gaming, and it's a very valid option. So if you guys like the video, please leave a like. If you want to see more videos in the future, consider subscribing, and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, thanks, bye.